changed and developed and, and um, during the, the COVID times, obviously to be uh, providing remote training, um, so distance learning. Um, and we're talking about V2 training, which is using virtual reality, of course. So Andre Herman, who's the Logistics Officer and Global Training Coordinator, uh, will give us this presentation. A warm welcome to our training presentation on what has happened and what will happen this year. My name is Andre. I'm working for the Global Logistics Cluster Support Team. Hello, my name is Julie Kiris and I'm a training officer. The first question is, why do we do actually capacity building slash training? There's a couple key reasons for this. The first is it helps to develop a common language across the humanitarian sector. Secondly, it helps to develop standardized, faster and more efficient responses. Essentially, this means there's no more duplication of efforts. We are also creating a, a platform for exchange of best practices, exchange of solutions and opinions and experience from all the different actors in the humanitarian community. We would like to create a network of practice. Last but not least, also the Interagency Standing Committee guidance note is clearly indicating that global clusters should build response capacity. That's why we do capacity building slash training. So what has happened in the past years? A lot. Uh, thanks to the generous contribution from the German Federal Foreign Office, GFFO, we were able to step up significantly. We had delivered more than over 300 face-to-face uh, -face trainings with more than 6,300 participants. We have expanded uh, our training program from one training to 119 and even more, it's growing. And in addition, we were able to create a learning management system, a logistics cluster learning channel uh, with over 5,300 regist registered learners uh, in one of our 22 online courses. Um, we also have created the uh, large scale simulation training, large scale simulation based exercise uh, together with the emergency telecommunications cluster uh, called Gear Up. Last year, we were not able to deliver it. We all know why. This year, fingers crossed, we will be able. In addition, last year, we have done a, a review of the training program. The midterm review has been published on our website and is available for anyone who would like to see it in more detail. There was two key outcomes for us that we were focusing on here. One, are the learning objectives of the face-to-face -face trainings being achieved? And then secondly, when people return to their jobs, their operations, their organizations, are they able to apply their new learning and knowledge? We had, through the midterm review, the over, overwhelming response was that, yes, the learning objectives are being achieved, and more importantly, when people return to work, they're able to apply that knowledge. Why was this important to us? Well, here you can see on the quotations on the, sl on the slide here that, as a result, the humanitarian community is more collaborative and we save more lives. And this review was basically to check if we're doing the right thing and if we're doing it right. This year, we're going to look into the impact on the system of our training program on the humanitarian response system when it comes to emergency logistics. Last year when uh, COVID uh, hit basically, we were all uh, in the same situation. We all had to adjust uh, to the new situation, the new normal. So the same thing we did. We started immediately uh, to adjust our training program towards a more online presence. And this again was uh, just um, feasible because Chief of O uh, provided a generous contribution. So we moved much more to online trainings. Five more trainings were developed last year. Online trainings were developed and published last year. We're translating all the trainings into Arabic, French, Spanish and Portuguese and potential additional languages to be discussed uh, in the coming years. Uh, we have also delivered online live events such as a cluster induction training where participants were able to share their uh, opinion and best practice and questions. Uh, we have also developed some face-to-face -face trainings, mostly in, uh, in the region of the Americas, uh, mostly basically went to logistics courses, cluster induction trainings, but also one logistics cluster coordinator training globally uh, in February last year. And a little bit proud of, we managed to develop a virtual reality-based online logistics response team training. The ELRT, or Online Logistics Response Team Training, takes the LRT that we all know and love, or many of us know and love, and then converts it into an online format. But how did we do that? Well, we partnered with the ITC ILO 
in order to use some of their virtual reality knowledge to help make this LRT come to life. We source the headsets. So here in the bottom right, uh, bottom left hand corner, you can see one of the participants wearing the virtual reality headset, which transports you from your home or your office and into this virtual reality environment that you can see depicted in the other images on the screen. We created this uh, emergency simulation environment where participants land amongst tents, uh, where there's a generator humming, and where they're really put to the prep, put under pressure under these in these tents here. What were the outcome of the pilot? Well, what was remarkable for us to learn was that the learning objectives were achieved to the same extent that they are in face-to-face -face LRTs. Participants truly felt like they were under pressure and that the demands were high. They started to lose sense of reality. Based in 11 different countries, they all started to think that they were in this fictional country of the simulation. We use the virtual reality technology for the multi-stakeholder meetings where partners from many different organizations come together and discuss key elements, as you can see in this picture in the bottom right hand corner. And 92% of uh, the participants uh, fed back that we should continue providing those online logistics response team trainings. That's what we are looking into this year as well. So that what has happened so far since, let's say, um, COVID started last year. Uh, what is the plan for this year? Because we won't stop, we will continue working on things. Due to COVID-19, most face-to-face -face meetings, sessions might not uh, be able to be delivered. Uh, we might not be able to deliver them, but we won't stop that. We won't be stopped uh, uh, by that. So basically what we're looking into is, of course, um, the, the continuation of the online logistics response team trainings. We are also looking into having additional uh, emergency logistics induction trainings, uh, cluster induction trainings uh, and face to face LRTs in uh, different countries, as you can see here. We're also fingers crossed, hoping that we will be able to uh, deliver Gear Up 2021. Also, in addition to that, we're uh, looking into providing another training of trainers uh, by uh, the end of the year and a cluster coordinator training. So that's not the only thing we're working on. We also continue uh, to develop new things. Julie. When it comes to program development, there's a couple of key elements that we'd like to share with you. First, we're in the early stages of a competency framework. Next, we are working on the development of additional e-content, which includes both new courses as well as the translation into multiple languages. Following that, we're working on the evaluation on impact or the level four evaluation. We're continuing the translation of our trainings and we're developing our strategy for 2022 and beyond. Of and course, this is, is with many of the partners in consultation and we look forward to continuing to work and discuss these different elements with you and hope that you'll make it to our marketplace session this week where we can continue to have these discussions thank you very much indeed yes that's yes. basically the outlook of uh, uh, what we're planning 2021 if you're still not convinced about the online logistics response training we invite you to participate or facilitate and one of the next upcoming sessions, more sessions to come, please get in touch with you. Thank you, with us. Thank you very much.